How you doing there? Nevon's the name. Interested in traveling to Jerusalem for the holy days? Well, you found your man putting together a group right now. Ask anyone around and they'll tell you I'm the best guide in the business. After all, holy pilgrimages are my specialty. Not really a religious man myself, but if folks want to visit the temple courts, see the wall Nehemiah rebuilt, then I'm happy to oblige. Don't be passing it around, but uh, it's been quite a good year for the caravan business. And not that I'm much into politics, but this Caesar Augustus guy, he sure did me a favor. Announced the census to be taken. Best of all, everyone had to go back to their hometown to register. Couldn't have come up with a better strategy for increasing business myself. Sure did change the regular customers, though. Saw a lot more older folks and families than usual. Even had a young girl come through who was expecting a child. Frankly, when she and her husband joined the group, I wasn't too thrilled, I'll tell you. I mean, not that I'm in the midwife business or anything, but in my opinion, she was way too far along to be traveling like that. But they certainly weren't about to be turned away, no siree. Especially the young gal. Almost seemed like she was on some sort of mission. She was determined she was going to have her baby in Bethlehem no matter what. That's where they were headed to register. Funny thing is, those two weren't a stitch of trouble at all. Guess I expected complaints about all the walking and the sleeping on the ground and the stench of the animals. But she was different. Special, confident even. She just didn't seem to get distracted by any of that. Purposeful is the word, I guess. Ah, trip, lots of travelers, and would you believe a new star in the sky? We all noticed it, and frankly, it kind of had everybody a little on edge. All but that young girl, and if I recall, her name was uh, Mary. When the traveling got rough, she'd look up in the heavens and focus on that one bright star. Yeah, she was a young one. But I guess she had decided she was going to make it to Bethlehem no matter what. Nothing was going to turn her aside. I wonder sometimes how those two made out. Felt kind of funny leaving them like that. Not a room to be had. And she was getting near her time. It was as plain as day. Even an old bachelor like me could see that. And then afterwards, when I heard about that terrible business with Herod killing all those little baby boys in Bethlehem, I, I just couldn't help but wondering what happened to them. I watched for them for a few months. Even now, I sometimes catch myself thinking about those two. They were so different than the others on the tour. I wonder if everything turned out all right with them. Never did lay eyes on them again, though. Love to know how things turned out. <laughs> Maybe I'll run into them again someday. I mean, who knows? They might just be needing a guide for a trip to Jerusalem. And if they are, I'm just the one they'll be looking for. After all, I'm the best man you'll find for getting you from here to there.